thromboxin is a member of the family of lipids known as acrosinoids. The two major thromboxanes are thromboxin A2 and thromboxin B2. The distinguishing feature of thromboxanes is a six-membered ether-containing ring. Thromboxin is named for its role in clot formation. Production Thromboxin A synthase, an enzyme found in platelets, converts the arachidonic acid derivative prostaglandin H2 to thromboxin. Mechanism Thromboxin acts by binding to any of the thromboxin receptors, G protein coupled receptors coupled to the G protein GQ. Functions Thromboxin is a vasoconstrictor and a potent hypertensive agent, and it facilitates platelet aggregation. It is in homeostatic balance in the circulatory system with prostacyclin, a related compound. The mechanism of secretion of thromboxanes from platelets is still unclear. They act in the formation of blood clots and reduce blood flow to the side of a clot. Role of A2 in platelet aggregation, thromboxin A2, produced by activated platelets, has prothrombotic properties, stimulating activation of new platelets as well as increasing platelet aggregation. Platelet aggregation is achieved by mediating expression of the glycoprotein complex GPIBI in the cell membrane of platelets. Circulating fibrinogen binds these receptors on adjacent platelets, further strengthening the clot. Pathology it is believed that the vasoconstriction caused by thromboxanes plays a role in Prinz metals angina. Omega-3 fatty acids are metabolized to produce higher levels of TXA-3 which is relatively less potent than TXA-2 and PGI-3. Therefore, there is a balance shift toward inhibition of vasoconstriction and platelet aggregation. It is believed that this shift in balance lowers the incidence of myocardial infarction and stroke. So constriction and, perhaps, various pro-inflammatory effects exerted by TXA on tissue microvasculature, is probable reason why the TXA is pathogenic in various diseases, such as ischemia reperfusion injury, hepatic inflammatory processes, acute hepatotoxicity etc. TXB2, a stable degradation product of TXA2, plays a role in acute hepatoxicity induced by astaminophen. Inhibitors, thromboxin inhibitors are broadly classified as either those that inhibit the synthesis of thromboxin, or those that inhibit the target effect of it. Thromboxin synthesis inhibitors, in turn, can be classified regarding which step in the synthesis they inhibit. The widely used drug aspirin acts by inhibiting the ability of the COX enzyme to synthesize the precursors of thromboxin within platelets. Low dose Long-term aspirin use irreversibly blocks the formation of thromboxin A2 in platelets, producing an inhibitory effect on platelet aggregation. This anticoagulant property makes aspirin useful for reducing the incidence of heart attacks. 40 mg of aspirin a day is able to inhibit a large proportion of maximum thromboxin A2 release provoked acutely, with the prostaglandin I2 synthesis being little affected. However, Higher doses of aspirin are required to attain further inhibition. Thromboxin synthase inhibitors inhibit the final enzyme in the synthesis of thromboxin. Ephetrobin is a potent and selective thromboxin receptor antagonist. Diprodamol antagonizes this receptor too, but has various other mechanisms of antiplatelet activity as well. High dose naproxen can induce near complete suppression of platelet thromboxin throughout the dosing interval and appears not to increase cardiovascular disease risk, whereas other high dose NSAID regimens have only transient effects on platelet COX 1 and have been found to be associated with a small but definite vascular hazard. The inhibitors of the target effects of thromboxin are the thromboxin receptor antagonist, including teratrobin. Picotamide has activity both as a thromboxin synthase inhibitor and as a thromboxin receptor antagonist. Radogrel is another example. References External links, thromboxanes at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings